name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, blessed Mary, of a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared for those who love you good things which no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises which surpass every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy to the Church of the Thessalonians, in God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, grace to you and peace. We give thanks to God always for all of you, remembering you in our prayers, unceasingly calling to mind your work of faith and labor of love and endurance in hope of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before our God and Father, knowing, brothers and sisters loved by God, how you were chosen. For our gospel did not come to you in word alone, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit with much conviction. You know what sort of people we were among you for your sake. In every place your faith in God has gone forth, so that we have no need to say anything. For they themselves openly declare about us what sort of reception we had among you, and how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God and to await his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who delivers us from the coming wrath. The word of the Lord. The Lord takes delight in his people. The Lord, the Lord takes, takes delight, delight in, in his people. people. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. The Lord, the Lord takes, takes delight, delight in his people. people. Let them praise his name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves his people, and he adorns the lowly with victory. The Lord, the Lord takes, takes delight in his people. people. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. Alleluia. The Lord, the Lord takes, takes delight, delight in his people. people. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. With a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Lord. Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You lock the kingdom of heaven before men. You do not enter yourselves, nor do you allow entrance to those trying to enter. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You traverse sea and land to make one convert, convert, and when that happens, you make him a child of Gehenna, twice as much as yourselves. Woe to you, blind guides, who say, if one swears by the temple, it means nothing, but if one swears by the gold of the temple, one is obligated. Blind fools, which is greater, the gold or the temple that make the gold sacred? And you say, if one swears by the altar, it means nothing. But if one swears by the gift on the altar, one is obligated. You blind ones, which is greater, the gift or the altar that makes the gift sacred? One who swears by the altar, swears by it and all that is upon it. 
One who swears by the temple swears by it and by him who dwells in it. One who swears by heaven swears by the throne of God and by the one who is seated on it. The Gospel of the Lord. Through the words of the Gospel, may our sins be wiped away. Our Lord is quite incensed with the scribes and the Pharisees. These are the uh, the men who interpret and teach the word of God. And they have a very heavy responsibility. And, and Jesus is saying that they are in great trouble, so many of them. Because they're, they're teaching the word of God in a very worldly way. They... they uh, follow after the rich and the powerful to a great extent because, of course, they, they benefit greatly from the rich and the powerful. The places of distinction and, and money and, and comfort. Uh, and, and they support that by saying, well, all good things come from God. We know that. It's written right here. All good things come from God. And those people who have many, many good things, they are beloved of God. Let me stay by them. And those who have hard lives, uh, widows and are, are sick and crippled and outskirts of society, they must be despised of God, sinners. And so I don't spend my time with them. I don't waste my time on those that God doesn't waste his time on. And woe to the scribes and the Pharisees who say that sort of thing. And they go and they try to attract wealthy people, uh, to their way, to God's way, and then teach them, do what you like because God loves you and, and, and receive the great gifts of God and don't help the poor and don't bother with the, the, the widows and those in need. They're not your problem. If God doesn't care about them, then, then you don't have to worry about that. And of course, not all the scribes and Pharisees were like that, but to a great extent, uh, this is what Jesus is pointing at. Those who turn their noses away from people in need and cater to those who can, who can give them good things and to profit by their own positions uh, instead of bringing God to all people, especially people in need. And then he goes on to show uh, how uh, we value stuff more than things of God. And he says, you know, you, you say it means nothing to um, swear by the temple, but swear by the gold of the temple. Oh, that, then, you, then you are truly obligated. Not swear by the altar, but swear by the gift on the altar. <sighs> yeah, then you're really obligated. Again, a very earthly, earthly, world-based thing. He's saying it's the altar that makes... The gift sacred. It's the temple that makes the gold sacred. The gold is nothing without the temple. The gift is nothing without the altar. You swear by heaven, you are swearing by God itself, himself. And Jesus has said in, in other places, don't swear. Let your yes mean yes. Let your no mean no. Be honest and be true. And don't swear by things that you have no effect on. You can't turn your hair black or white. You can't tell God what to do. So you don't swear by God. And uh, just be honest and true. And don't be so immersed in the things of this world, especially the scribes and the Pharisees who should be people of God, helping to bring all of God's people to God, who is everybody. And not to turn away those who are troubled or the sick or diseased or on the outskirts or suffering in any way. Not to push them away and say, I don't have time for you. But rather to embrace them and to help them. And to bring them to God. and Try to help them find peace and guidance and survival in God. With the knowledge that they, God comes to them. Jesus comes to them. He, he came to take care of sinners. He didn't come to save the righteous, although there were very few righteous in the world. The scribes and the Pharisees and the Sadducees considered them the highest form of God's righteous people. 
And through Jesus' eyes, they appear to be amongst the lowest of God's people because they're pushing people away from God and withholding God's graces from them. As he says here, you know, you, you convert someone and then you make him a child of hell itself, worse than yourself, by teaching him, God gives you good things. Go after the good things that God gives you. That's what you need, more stuff, more blessings in the world. The world, yeah, because God made the world. So take all the things of the world and embrace them. And we know that the world passes away and none of the things of this world are of any value whatsoever. All that matters in this world is God and God's people, which is all people, and the treasures that move from this world to the next. And those are our good works. Not our money, not our stuff, but the good things we do, the valuable, kind, loving things that we do. Those are the treasures that we build up in heaven. Nothing else goes to our true home. People and good works, all in God. Let us not be focused in the world and the stuff of the world and the gold of the world. Let us be focused on God and his people and kindness and caring for the needs of all every day. Let us bring our prayers to God, seeking what we need to be faithful in his ways. For the Holy Catholic Church, may the Lord continue to bless her as a pure and faithful presence in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For elected officials, may they be emboldened by God's divine providence in working for the good of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the sick, the marginalized, and the oppressed, especially Dorcas Senprov, Dennis Donovan, Mildred Bolando, Lucille Hudiap, Regine Hooper Campbell, Jeanette Silvestri, Brother Mike, Brother Kevin, Lorraine Michelle Diana, Mary Louise Collins, Mary Teresa Agolio, Joseph Agolia, and Rodel Lanuevo. May the Lord graciously grant them healing and relief. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For those of us gathered here and at home today, May we be guided by the spirit of wisdom and understanding in all that we do. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For our beloved dead, especially Gregorio Abuyen, Milagros Gloria, may they experience the true peace of Christ in the heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We offer this Mass in a special way today for Reverend James Coleman and for Ashley Williams, that our Lord may pour his glory, his love, his everlasting life upon them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for everyone who is suffering under political and social unrest in the world today, and for those who are suffering from natural disasters that God may protect them, guide them, and give them life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray again for everyone suffering from COVID and all other diseases, and for those who are assisting them and helping them to survive. Uh, let us pray to the Lord. Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for sinners everywhere and for all the holy souls in purgatory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for making us your sons and daughters. Hear our prayers this day as we bring them to you in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. And may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me of my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption through one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously upon us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. Drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring to her the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also the brothers, our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. 
Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free me by this, your most holy body and blood, from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments and never let me be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Keep me safe for eternal life. And now please join me in making an act of spiritual communion. I, Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Pass our lips as food, O Lord, may we possess in purity of heart that what has been given to us in time may be our healing for eternity. Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perfect and sustain us, so that in all things we may please you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth and proclaim the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.